because our pool doesn't have boards, uh, it is kind of challenging um, with time management wise. But once we get to practice, whether it be you or I or Brown, um, you kind of tur like turn off uh, school mode and you go into practice mode and you're ready to challenge yourself and push yourself to new limits, find, different, find your boundaries pretty much. I expected a lot, it's Division One, but I didn't know it was going to be as intense as it was. And a lot of the driving to the practices and from the practices takes out like hours that you, you wouldn't think really mat like counted. Coach even has a Wi-Fi like box, so we connect our computers to the Wi-Fi, do our homework in the car, then we go to practice and do homework on the way back or take a nap. We have actually one of the larger teams in the league. Uh, we have a total of seven divers, six freshmen. We had a phenomenal recruiting year. All the divers are great, great students. They have super grades and it looks like they're all going to end, uh, at least all of our freshmen are certainly going to end their first semester pretty high. Although our pool doesn't have boards, um, I feel like we are almost at an advantage uh, because after shifting to a like, di uh, different variety of pools, we actually get uh, more experience on a different environment, different board types, so we're actually uh, it's more versatile for us to go to different pools. The 615 lifts, we actually live with the football team, so it's pretty uh, intimidating at times. But um, it definitely gets you going, gets you ready for the day. Um, the lift is, it's actually pretty exciting, especially with the new strength and conditioning facility. We have a great uh, lifting coach, uh, Pat Basil. Definitely has pushed me to my limits to, that I wouldn't really expect otherwise. We do 45 minutes of pretty intense full body workouts with, with the strength and conditioning coaches. And then, um, and then we finish off with 30 minutes of pretty intense diving related uh, core work. My old diving coach in high school told me divers win meets. And I feel like that's actually uh, incredibly accurate only because um, if, we're, if the swimmers are on the border of winning and losing by a couple points, divers add that extra little little kick and a little jump to push them over and, and beat their opposing team. We pale in comparison to what the swimmers are able to um, score because of all the events that they're in and, and that is one hard uh, working group of athletes. But from the diving side it really makes it can make a big difference and it has in the past. The amount of work that we do, no one can tell me or any, anyone else on the team that we don't love diving. We may complain about it, um, I get frustrated at practices, but we definitely love it and it's like such a source of relief like honestly after classes everyone's like oh my god that's actually a practice but like once we're there we are really into it and like we want to do well we want to get dives and if you have a good practice you have a good day. <laughs>